Not that PSG game. Not that PSG game. Back with Sam. Hey guys, what's up? Multi PSG game here again, and welcome back to an M Creator tutorial. First off, I want to say I hope everybody's enjoying the new vlogs that I'm doing. Um, I hope this can be a regular thing. Um, second thing, I'm sorry. Someone commented, "How do you make armor?" Like a week and a half ago or two. I made a video last weekend, but when I like went over and was editing, I realized that my sound didn't record, so it was just all mute except for the background noises in my computer. So I decided to not like do anything else with it and just delete it. So here we are, a week later, recording how to make an armor late at night, um, late on Sunday night I should say. Um, so I apologize, it's taken me this long to do it. I just hit a thousand subscribers last week. Um, I've had a lot of school work to do, so I apologize that I haven't been uh, doing any, any M Creator tutorials. Uh, my last update before we do the armor is next video that we'll be doing, we will be uh, updating to 1.5.8, which is bug fixes um, for the 1.8 series or whatever you want to say for Minecraft. So let's go ahead and go to the workspace. Um, and this was the last thing I made so uh, we're gonna go do everything from scratch again uh, but first of all what you want to do is you want to go to your tools and you're gonna want to create an armor texture now I already have an armor texture created but I'll make another one just because and it's gonna be blue um, and we'll say this armor is Thor this Thor is awesome. Maybe next episode we'll make Thor's hammer or something. I don't know. Um, but yeah, so make sure you make the armor texture. And you're going to want to import an armor texture. Um, I will have a uh, link to a website down below for uh, a good website to get skins off of um, that fits for this. Um, this version of M Creator. Uh, because I'll show you that well basically you have to have a connected textured skin so can't be separated like on Nova skin when you download the skin it's separated so basically it's it's confusing I'll just I'll show you um, you're gonna want to change this to all files and textures for mods that's where I have the texture um, Thor. I'm pretty sure this is it. So find whatever texture that you have, uh, wherever you put it and downloaded it, and then you want to put those two files there. Remember, it's the same file over again for layer one and layer two, unless you have a separated texture that is set for like layer one and layer two. Um, sort of like if you guys know the unlimited supers unlimited mod. How the textures are sort of separated uh, that's what I'm talking about where it, it's confusing but um, basically just have a single texture like so it's all connected okay sorry about that so once you're all done with that you're gonna want to create a new element uh, and you're gonna want to name or click armor because you're making an armor um, and then name your armor what you want it uh, sorry for that Skype sound. Um, so, first off, it's going to show you four boxes for the armor. Mm, sorry about that. Um, I'm going to put myself on do not disturb. This is so unprofessional. I apologize. Um, okay, sorry for that. Uh, so, the four textures, helmet, body, leggings, and boots. Uh, so, click the helmet. And as you can see, this is from the Iron Man. But this is the Thor texture that we made. Um, and of course if you want you can import a custom texture how you want the thing to look in your GUI um, if you guys want me to make a tutorial on how to do that I will just comment below asking how do you make a or import a texture for the armor selection for the GUI but for right now we're just gonna make it blue um, and then you're just gonna want to click on every one of those alright down here it's basically if you want to add an event 
say like a potion effect. Um, and we're going to add a potion effect to the helmet. We're going to add, and if you guys don't know what the potion ID list is, click here. It will bring you to a list of um, potions. Specifically, one I'm going to do for speed duration. So after you take off the helmet, it will last for this amount of time. But when you have the helmet on, it's going to last for as long as you have the helmet on. So we'll make it 10 seconds. Uh, amplified. I found out that every number that you have it say like it's zero it's amplified in a uh, plus one so if it's zero it's speed one if it's if it says one right here then it's speed two so it's amplified plus one so we're gonna have speed we're gonna put speed five but it's actually gonna be speed six because it's amplified plus one so you want to click add event uh, that's just for the helmet if you guys want to do it for the uh, add potion effect to the chest plate go ahead be my guest um, but next tutorial that I do, I will show you guys how to make, if you guys want to, but I'm going to show you how to make it. It's, I'm going to record it probably in a couple days or so, or maybe tomorrow, how to uh, like make your superhero fly like Superman, Iron Man, Green Lantern, Thor, any flying superhero, or just a flying armor if you want. Maybe a jetpack texture pack, or not texture pack, texture uh, we can do. Um, but yeah, I'll show you how to do that and how to make sure you don't take fall damage if you don't want to take any fall damage with the person. Alright, so after you add the uh, event, you're going to want to hit next. And then you're going to name the armor. This is the name that's going to be in your GUI. So we're going to name it Thor. Um, and then you're going to want to, so how you imported a texture, it's going to be right here. Um, and as you can see, there's a Thor texture right here. It sees the same thing top and bottom. Um, that's that's sort of what you want it to look like. I guess I can show you a quick picture. Uh, I cannot find it. Oh wait, it's on my other side, other screen texture for mods alright so you see all these textures these are for other mods as you can see the Thor texture oh god uh, is one like thing so are the rest of these like Iron Man uh, that's an El Pollo skin it's don't worry about that uh, custom Deadpool skin Spider-Man these are the things that I was talking about for like a second texture so we have the the body and then the legs right here. You're gonna have to separate these and make sure they're like exact. Um, I could try working on a template for you guys if you want. Um, just go ahead and comment below, comment down below, and I will make a template. I'll try. As you can see with the Iron Man skins, they're separated. Um, but yeah, that's the Thor skin. It's one size, so or not one size, one texture. Okay moving on so actually we're not moving on I wanted to, as I was explaining earlier um, if you see here it tells you like what everything is so this is for like the helmet what the helmet texture is gonna look like so once again I'll, I will try to make a, a custom texture uh, oh, template that's the word I'm looking for uh, where it's labeled like helmet body boots and leggings if you want to make a custom texture like that but otherwise I'll have a, a website down below to make your life a lot easier unless you want to do a custom texture be my guest um, but I'm pretty sure you can make custom textures on that website so basically maximum or maximal damage that armor absorbs that's how much absorption the armor will take and deal like Iron armor will only protect you so much. Diamond armor will only protect you so much. Well, you can make this very protective and you can make it really weak. We're going to make it decent. Like, we're going to have a 75. Um, so, it's decent. And probably we'll be able to fight the wither if we had some po more potion effects. Um, damage values. How much damage the each individual part of the armor can take. So say it's like 
200 you can only have it's only like 200 durability so we're gonna we'll put that number to 100 and you can I think the highest you can go is 100 you can have these varied but I'm gonna have them all 100 to make my life easier um, enchantability just as usual put it to 20 so you can do all the enchants that there is um, and then you can have a custom crafting recipe you can have it where you can smelt the armor um, you can do anything of how to make the armor um, you can have it where there's no crafting recipe where you have to get it just from creative um, but we're gonna have a I guess we'll have a texture or not a texture a crafting recipe we'll have an easy one uh, you can do it any way you want uh, so we'll just have it like oops, like this and then basically you're done so it's gonna recompile and everything um, and once it's done, we'll be in the game, and I will show you the armor. Okay, so we are in game, and I apologize once again for the lag. Um, M Creator just lags a lot. It normally doesn't lag like this, but you know, M Creator is cool, and yeah. Um, we're gonna use our Ender Souls to get us up here. Okay, we didn't get up there. All right, we're just gonna do this. Open it to land real quick and go into the creatives and get ourselves some that's lapis, some blue wool. Okay. Okay. So here's how to craft. As as usual, here's uh, that that. Oops. Oh frick! I forgot how to craft the boot leggings. No. Okay, uh... Did I, did I, did I... Yeah, I think I did it, goof. Okay, I apologize for in the tutorial. I actually, um... Put the same crafting recipe twice. So, it's, there's a, there's a mistake in crafting recipe. I will fix that. Um, but basically, I'm just gonna throw the armor on, and as you can see, I look like Thor. There we go. Um, looks pretty sick. I'm Thor. Uh, there's a little bit of 3D going on. I wish I can zoom in. But, uh, yeah, there's a lot of 3D going on, if you can see on the side of the head. As you can see, I got speed 1 or 2, whichever one is what I put in. I don't remember at this time. But as you can see, I run a little bit faster. Um, and yeah, so that's that's about it. Um, once again, I will be updating to um, 1.5.8 next tutorial. Um, and then I'm also going to show you how to add... I'm going to have to figure this out, but I'm going to show you how to... Uh, Put these mods that I have right now into an updated version of M Creator. Uh, and also, one more thing before I go someone asked me if I can post these mods like, so they're public. I will if you really want me to. Um, don't count on it. But I will if you really want me to. Like, if you count again, I will. Um, so, yeah, I'll just have to fix a couple things. But that's basically it. I hope everybody has a great day. Um, I'll talk to everybody later. Peace. Um,